The next step in the workflow is to run the GSI data assimilation system in an effort to use real observations to improve the initial conditions for the model. This step is optional and not required to run the WARF model, but it can greatly improve forecasts. Again, we'll expand the Docker commands by using this plus icon. And we'll see the familiar Docker run command. Since this step takes a little bit to complete, we will go ahead and copy and paste this into our AWS terminal and press enter to get it going. And then come back and we'll talk about this Docker run command. So in this step, Docker uses the DT Center GSI container to run the provided run GSI script and places all of the output in the GSI PRD directory. Depending on the experiment and model configuration and the observations used, the time to execute this program can vary, but when it's complete, uh, there will be a number of files in the GSI PRD directory that contain log information and diagnostics and other relevant information to this assimilation step. So it looks like the GSI program has completed. So we can do an ls on the GSI PRD directory and see what we have. And we see that we have a number of files, as mentioned before, that also match the list on our online tutorial. And details about each of these files can be found in the GSI user's guide documentation. So the data simulation step is finished and you're now ready to move on to the model integration step.